Booyaka Booyaka. And we're back for the uh, other match. Before the last match. It's Coventry away and I've just had a look at the squad. Everything's looking not so good. Because people are still uh, a bit tired. After the other match. Um, especially Livon. Or Livon. Unusual name for an Italian. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. And also um, this scrawny looking Swedish attacking midfielder that I've got named Peter, like the rest of them. All right, but um, we've got this setup. Um, we got the injury last time for Massinho, really important striker, and yeah, not that guy, but uh, Pelinia as well. Not so great. Plus, I did. Um, I did substitute Williamson pretty late in the match, but should have done it before apparently because he's only at 80% condition. Um, sometimes I'll, I have no problem fielding the, um, the players that are like around 85 or so, but in this case, I don't, I don't know, they're not so important. This guy was very surprising in the last match. But I think a lot of times I experience, I don't know about you guys, but um, I've got the feeling that when you leave a player out of the starting lineup for a while and then bring him back in, um, there's a good chance he'll pre perform really well. I think probably because it counts as a big occasion for him personally. Maybe that's why. Um, but I've found that um, even though with a performance like uh, the Goldberger performance, well, he, he played for um, he, a match rating of eight, but I, I liked his, um, his numbers here. It looks really consistent, especially the passes and the headings, headers, of course. But then if you keep them on, let him play the next match as well. Then probably it'll pass real quick and he won't perform like you had hoped. Now this looks all right. We've got Caravana, Caravana back from injury, but he's, um, his physical condition is 83%. So I'm gonna hold um, or put him not on the bench or anything. Just I'm just gonna wait until next time. The opposition squad, Coventry City, who are already champions in the Premier League. Um, their squad looks like this. Kind of cool. Um, they've got Salayeta. They've had him for a while. He's been really... Um, he's played well, but not scored a lot of goals or anything or assists. But, well, playing well for them. But they have a really old Kiko and then this guy. He's um, the danger man in, in Coventry. Claudio Pizarro from Peru. Lots of goals. And, oh wow, looks dangerous as well. Two caps, one goal, 24 years old. He's the regen of someone. I don't know. Uh, yeah, and then they've got defensive midfielder in, as, as number eight. That's kind of weird. Let's see what happens. I can't drag it out anymore, even though, as you probably um, have found out by now, I do like making short stories really long. Also, I like to um, not rush the games. Okay, that uh, doesn't start well. Uh, couldn't really begin worse than this. That's uh, Renato, my veteran striker, who has been scoring lots and lots of goals for us over the years. But now... I have to replace him with this guy. 
and he hasn't really shown me anything. His form is poor, but, well, yeah, I think I'll have to. <laughs> and that's another goal for Coventry right away. This is uh, not really going the way I wanted it to. Something is wrong. I'm going to try playing a little bit more narrow like that. Might not help at all, but at least I'm trying something. They keep attacking and scoring. So, yeah. It's a bit sad. I was really hoping to be able to... Um, to get a result in this match as well. All right, 3-1. Before the halftime whistle. And that's important, I guess. Especially if we can get, if we can get another one. Let's see. No, as it's, uh, it's actually... The stats are in our favor. Um, except for shots and goal. Handy side, um, he got a match rating of 9 in the last match. So he's an example of what I'm talking about, actually. Uh, but he has been consistent for us over the years. Started with us in Division 3. Um, but he's getting old. And Levon is getting really tired. Hmm. Hmm. But Neves has actually made the assist and also had a couple of shots on goal. So he's he's doing well coming off the bench. Um, right. So I've got three mat three days before the next match. I think I need to replace. Um, handy side with Junior, even though oh, he's really he's 83%. Oh. I'm gonna use this Brolin guy, sometimes he plays well, and he's I don't know, he's probably a, a safer bet than just keeping handy side uh, on. So let's see what happens. Um, let's just pick up the pace. Come on. All right, let's see. Yeah, and it's all over. Um, let's think about this for a sec. This is this is actually a, a mistake. Leo Pizzi was not supposed to be the captain. Levon was. Um, but sometimes with my fat fingers and, and playing on the phone, stuff like that happens. He's playing terribly again, uh, Leo Pizzi. His uh, attributes look fine, but yeah, I showed you. So... He's part of the reason. And Heidler is not really performing me either. Um, but we need to think about the next match. Let's see. Let's 
So I probably need to just um, yeah, I'm gonna get Levon. Ouch. Keep this guy on. This is a forward, so yeah, I'm gonna have to tinker a little bit. And Pano Stamina fifteen. Hmm. Tabel got the, the card. More is gonna be tired, but I already made three substitutions, so that's uh, what I've got. So it's live on, and I'm, I'm keeping Junior on the bench. And I made all my substitutions a little bit sooner than I'd like. Um, I like to get past the, the 70th minute or so, a little more actually. Come on, let's just get the goal. One more goal, yes please. That looks better on the score sheet, right? And that's actually Sergio who I just um, just put on. Sergio from Kenya, his first goal, yeah, it is. Uh, in his 11th match for us, it's his first goal. Really poor adaptability, so maybe, just maybe, he can still prove to be an asset. Neves played really well coming on. That's a surprise. Valencia win the UEFA Cup. We're down to ninth. Ninth place. And all of we've all played the same amount of matches. So yeah. That's um interesting. So probably well. I'm not sure about the math, but um, it's it's unlikely that both Leeds and Sunderland will lose their match or just lose points, but they might. And that means that we could uh, get seventh place, but no higher. And uh, that's actually European competition sometimes, isn't it? Not sure about it. And... I'm not even sure how to check. Renato out for six weeks. How do I check that? Competition info, European competition, UEFA Cup, UEFA allocation. So we are before four places in the UEFA Cup, right? That's what it means. And we've got, let's see, so one in Champions League. And one in Cup Winners Cup. That's only six places. So maybe I don't know if they sorry, if they won the last one. Well that's not that's no English teams ever. <laughs> we have to uh, well uh, no English teams have been in the final at all. So that's Actually, not great. Hmm. Chelsea. Oh, why didn't I see that right away? But Chelsea did. They won it in 2000. No one else. Hmm. So that means no European competition next year. Um, that's a shame. Hmm. It's Saturday already. All right, let's take a look and let's get this season over with. Fanovic is all right, and I can still play him. Leo Pizzi, I don't know. I need to change the captaincy uh, to that guy. So everybody's basically fit enough to play. Mm. Lots of players with poor form and such, but... Still, this is good enough. Unia, right there. Caravana, back as number 11. Williamson, should be my um, 
captain and also I like him on as number 10 and then number whoops that's a mistake again fat fingers 10 for Williamson 9 for Sodje who scored the goal when he came in and let's keep Nevis I don't know he did play really well let's have a look at this again two assists I'm gonna bring him on from the beginning of the match and hope for redemption for his poor performances up until now and then number six position for Peterson who's in a bad mood but he, he's been playing really well but, or pretty well decent Connor, Tavel, Peterson, Lupi, Sikama, this looks right. Ask when you no, check. Not Lupi, Need to change. Need to get him out. Four, maybe Heidler. He's in a terrible mood, but he has been playing well sometimes. So has Brolin. A few times but there's also this guy yeah he's pretty reliable nothing fancy but gets the job done sometimes and he has great heading skills which is not a bad thing but he's he's a bit um yeah i'll play him brolin heidler maybe as, as number four 14 any side yeah he's superb yeah. and has good determination right now not really Goldberg hmm. so more or Sajay I'm gonna keep Sajay on here and and let the young more sit this one out right I'm not sure actually. He did play fine after coming on, but uh, I think I think uh, I think more deserves it more. Yeah, pun intended. Arnold uh, never. That's wrong. We need probably. Not him. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just let Fanaru take the. Oh, no, wait. Carolina. He's 28. And he's really good. This guy. But uh, he's had sort of a poor season. Let's see how this goes. I think uh, we've been. Kind of poor at the beginning of both of these matches we've played recently, but let's see how this goes. And maybe is it away? Is it? It's a home match, so I'm gonna risk the arrow for Carolina. Here we go against Spurs, who are playing for. Bigger things than we are, probably. They're fifth place. And <clears throat> this is the very last match of the season. And it looks nice with blue and white colors. Those are the Petersburg, the Peterborough colors. Oh, that's a very, very close. I could see, I actually thought that was going in. I could see the ball almost hitting the side of the, the back of the net, but it well, must have been the angle. And now it's. Spurs going ahead. Oh, come on. Come on. <sighs> yeah. That's just not fair. Look at these stats. So, am I doing something wrong? Binning is not playing very well. 
That is... Anyone else? Which means that with the stats in our favor and no one really playing well, uh, then um, I might as well just let them continue a little bit until I can see the, the, the villains and the heroes a little bit more clearly. Come on. Six thousand one hundred sixty-six disappointed uh, spectators, except for the away fans, of course. But Carvana, the Nevers, right? He's coming off, I think. Let's see. Yeah, now he does play all right, but not all that well either. And uh, it's mostly a uh, rest. Disappointing a little bit in the defense. Demon is playing well. Mm. I think the problem is that you might you might sit there and think, why isn't he doing anything? But the problem is I don't really have a lot of good options. So Actually, I think Farnwood is the culprit here. He's not really, he's not really um, taking uh, taking charge of the attacking midfield like he's supposed to, or like he usually does. Hmm. Maybe. Does he have? Yeah, he has the determination. Um, so maybe I can get this guy out. Heidler. He's an old favorite, so why not put him where, whoops, up here? Peterson down there. Heidler over here. So Binning is on the right side. Williamson gets the, uh, the card. And why is he not the captain, by the way? Why did I make Levon the captain? See, this is the, the problem with the YouTube videos. I'm talking too much and thinking too little. His leadership 20. And he's a very nice Northern Irish bloke who should be captain. And... I'm going to bring on more because it is the last match of the season. So let's just do something. Come on. Two goals, please. Two Peterborough goals, please. On earth comes to nothing. He's really not stepping up when needed this time. He's been playing, well, he's, he's one of our best players, so I shouldn't complain. Come on. And we're playing against one of the, the top teams, I guess. In the fifth place, father of this. Well, he's trying stuff, but uh, yeah, why do we have so many of them? Caravana is now only getting a six and uh, this is just this sucks I don't know what to say looks like we're losing this one guys And not an exciting match or anything. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. But it, it means we'll have another season in the Premier League. And, well, I have to remember that even though, well, 
even though I'm used to maybe being a little bit more successful than the conditions with the um, the limitations in well that was close the transfer limitations only signing Peters and stuff mean that um, things are just gonna be difficult aren't they yeah there you go Berg and it's full time so being satisfied with like I don't know 10th place or whatever this is I don't know it wasn't what I had hoped for but I did um, have Massinho out for six months or something insane like that with a broken leg and now he got injured again uh, right when I thought that he was gonna save the season for us and that injury coincided with well with going from winning games to losing them so that's just how it is I guess the other results sort of go uh, our way I guess because Newcastle and Newcastle won and what was the other one Blackburn they also won no Birmingham they did as well so actually we were just yeah unlucky really unlucky because we could have been I I don't know about the goal difference but I think we could have been eighth but it still wouldn't wouldn't have given us a place in Europe so whatever that's the final table and let's just check out the Premier League player tables top goal scores list hey there you go Not impressive. Actually, we had uh, Renato as number two, two or three last season. I'm not sure. Assists that could be Renato. Uh, not as number one, but probably pretty high on the list. Yeah, fourteen assists. Made of the match awards. I don't even know who that would be from us. Probably Jack. seven and the fun and arsenal won that mm. dang it can't really be satisfied with this way of ending the season but i'm glad that i did the videos for you guys and Oh, it's a club record. So apparently we were 11th last season. I thought it was the same. And an average rating. Well, that's pretty nice as well. And let's see the... Yeah, I still can't sign anyone. Um, but I can show you guys that when I do the player search, I usually just go like this or maybe sometimes I just write PET and just to show you how limited we are these are all the Peters in the game that's uh, five pages of Peters and as you can tell if you look in the second column most of these are already playing for me in Peterborough and some of these guys like Peter Luchin in Man United, his contract is 58,000, so we can't really compete with him, um, or compete for him. And well, the first page and the second page look pretty interesting, but the rest is just, yeah, not so great. Mm. These uh, players that might look interesting are really old. So, yeah, 
Uh, I'm going to show you the, the player search thing uh, next time or just around the 15th of July when I can uh, search for hopefully a lot of regions named Peter. This was all for now. And yes, I am leaving already. See you guys. Thanks for watching.